My concern tonight is what did Jesus do for me? And what did Jesus do for you? Does that, does that allow us to go around life with our heads hung down and be depressed and discouraged because of the situations that we see ourselves in? Are we supposed to come and worship and glorify God irregardless of where we find ourselves? We are supposed to praise God and give Him glory. Hallelujah. Worship Him and tell Him how wonderful He is because He is. Not because He does things for us. He's just great because He's great. Hello. He's great because He's the only one that could die on the cross and save humanity. He's the only one that loved people enough, amen, to do the things that he does for people. It's amazing to me. I know people that get saved, and they're mean people. I know some people I don't even like to go talk to. Hello. But Jesus will send me there or somebody else there to talk to them so they can get saved. And if they'll accept Jesus as their Savior, He will forgive them of every one of their sins, and He will give them the gift of eternal life, and they will have the same reward as I do. Hello? Hello? How much love does Jesus have? How much love does He have to go help people that some of us don't even want to go talk to? Hello? People have told me, like I said, I'm on the low end of the totem pole when it comes to technology and what people do. I've had people come to my office and tell me they committed a particular sin and they gave a word for it. And I don't even know what it is. But apparently it's sin because they said it was. Amen. Hello. <laughs> and the only thing I can do is look at them and shake my head. I guess so. But Jesus can forgive that, whatever it is. Hello. I've had people that do not want to tell me the truth. They're ashamed of what they've done. And they don't want to, amen, come in and talk to me about their sin. I've had people that were married or people that had personal problems and they don't want to tell me what they did because they're ashamed of it. But the only way you can get forgiven is to come and confess it Come on, 1 John, if you confess your sin, he's faithful and just to forgive you of your sin and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Oh, that's a good scripture. If you don't know it, you got to write it down. Amen. Because you're going to mess up someday. You're going to do it, amen, Be maybe before nightfall, and you're going to need somebody that loves you like Jesus does that will forgive you of that sin and restore you to the kingdom. Hello. Hello, amen. I sometimes wonder, how much does Jesus love me? How much does he love humanity to do the stuff that he does? How can I be discouraged at night when somebody, amen, that loves me that much, amen, is watching out for me? How could I be upset because he's going to help me some way, somehow, because of his great love, he's going to send somebody to help me. 